Hey everyone, welcome back to another recap here on the channel. Today we'll be going over the 106th episode of the current season. Last week we found out that Clark is possibly dead, but with another soul inside her body, a former colonist of the planet they're on named Josie. The episode ended last week with Josie revealing herself to Murphy and asking him for help with her plan in exchange for immortality. Let's go ahead and see what happens this week. Like and subscribe for daily content. The episode begins with Josie drilling Murphy on how to fool everyone into thinking she's actually Clark. Josie wants to make sure she can convince Abby that she is her daughter and tells Murphy that will be the ultimate test. Maddie has a nightmare, part of her acceptance of the flame, and Josie goes upstairs to comfort her. Gaia and Josie argue over how best to soothe Maddie, but it just makes Gaia more suspicious. I'm not sure if Gaia is a permanent cast member of the show, but the more she questions Josie, the more I'm convinced that she won't survive long. Raven, Echo, and Emery join Murphy and Josie and ask if the rumors are true about the proms being able to body jump. Josie tells them it's true and that they need to calm down. She has Bellamy and some scouts looking for a place for them to go. Now obviously she's lying since she has Bellamy stored away somewhere, but they reluctantly agree to stay where they're at and then they all leave the building. Josie tells Murphy about what she did to Bellamy and then tells him that it's up to him to convince Bellamy to join her side. We see some guards toss Murphy into a room with Bellamy. He's upset and tells Bellamy that he found out the truth and that's why he's there. Bellamy's grieving Clark's death and tells Murphy that they're going to kill all the primes and take this colony. I couldn't decide if Murphy was playing Bellamy or what. He seemed to at first be conning him, but then he explained everything to him, so it could really go either way. We all know how Murphy is. Dioza and Octavia are in some cave where they meet up with the man who had captured them earlier. Octavia is in a huge amount of pain, and the man tells Dioza that she only has a few hours before whatever's harming her will actually kill her. He says he can help though, and Dioza agrees, and they leave to get someone who can treat her. Raven confronts the guy from the machine shop that she met earlier in the season. He's a prime, and she tells him what she thinks of their ways. His name is Riker, and he tells her that he didn't ask to be resurrected, but it wasn't his idea. Raven isn't convinced though and gets back to work on the plans to build their own radiation shield. In the woods, Echo is following a scouting party thinking she can catch up with Bellamy. She comes upon a man who's like attached to a tree stump somehow. It looks like the vines are growing into him and he asks for mercy and Echo goes to kill him but the guard that Josie sent to follow intervenes and tells her that this man is being punished for his crimes. He left the shield down the night Delilah was kidnapped. Echo knocks the guard out and asks the man for mercy and she slams a rock down on him to end his suffering. Bellamy figures out what Murphy's up to and asks him why he's there, and Murphy tells him that he's there to convince him to take the deal, that they can live forever. Bellamy resists and tells Murphy to leave and that he won't fall for this. Maddie continues to have nightmares about the Dark Commander, and Gaia instructs her on how to go inside herself to a happy memory in which she can make the Dark Commander leave. This plan backfires horribly when Maddie is put face to face with the Dark Commander, and he tells her to kill Gaia, that she doesn't know anything. Maddie tells him no, but when she wakes up, we see that Gaia has chained her to the bed. Josie goes to Abby and tells her that if she can teach the primes to make night bloods, they can save Kane. Now Abby's skeptic, but Josie pulls her pulls on her training to act like Clark and seems to get through to Abby. Back in the woods, Echo has the guard she knocked out tied to the tree stump. She figures out that Clark is gone and that someone else is in her body now. She demands to know where Bellamy is and the guard tells her that he's not dead yet, but he has a few nights. Josie goes to threaten Bellamy and her father and Murphy show up. Russell's upset with Josie and what she's done and he tells Bellamy that he can't bring Clark back, but he can help the rest of them achieve immortality. Josie cuts Bellamy's chain and he attacks Russell. And Josie tells him that if he needs to kill Russell that it's fine, but let this be the last act of violence between them. Bellamy's confused and ends up dropping Russell. Back in the cave, Dioza and the man attempt to cure Octavia, but the medicine isn't working like it should. They end up finding out that they're marked by some anomaly and they have to find out what it means. Now I was really confused by this plot point, but it has something to do with the temporal flare from the last episode that Octavia got hit by. Echo returns to Sanctum and finds Bellamy and he's told everyone that Clark's dead and they all appear to be grieving her. Maddie comes downstairs and again I'm confused because how did she get out of the chains? I didn't understand this scene at all, but Bellamy tells her about Clark. Gaia goes to comfort Maddie and we see the Dark Commander is influencing her. He commands her to kill Gaia, but Maddie resists and just banishes Gaia instead. Maddie wants revenge, and she asks the Dark Commander how to kill all of them. Josie goes to bed, and we see her go into a dream. Now, on this part, I'm a little confused because she appears to be inside Clark's memories. She's back in the cell that Clark was in at the very beginning of the series, where she'd drawn all over the floor. 
The episode ends there, and I'm guessing it just means that Clark isn't actually gone and may start fighting to regain control of her body. Now, that's just my theory. I could be wrong, but we'll see. Anyways, I'm going to leave this one here. Hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, be sure and give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you again next week for another recap. Have a great day.